Charadria fermis is a diverse order of small to medium large birds. It includes about 350 species and has members in all parts of the world. Most Charadria fermis live near water and eat invertebrates or other small animals, however, some are pelagic, some occupy deserts and a few are found in thick forest. Taxonomy, Systematics and Evolution the order was formally divided into three suborders: the waders, typical shorebirds, most of which feed by probing in the mud or picking items off the surface in both coastal and freshwater environments, the gulls and their allies. These are generally larger species which take fish from the sea. Several gulls and skewers will also take food items from beaches or rob smaller species, and some have become adapted to inland environments. The orcs are coastal species which nest on sea cliffs and fly underwater to catch fish. Dot. The Sibley Alquist taxonomy, which has been widely accepted in America, lumps all the Charadria fermis together with other seabirds and birds of prey into a greatly enlarged order Cyconia fermis. However, the resolution of the DNA DNA hybridization technique used by Sibley and Amp Alquist was not sufficient to properly resolve the relationships in this group, and indeed it appears as if the Charadria fermis constitute a single large and very distinctive lineage of modern birds of their own. The orcs, usually considered distinct because of the peculiar morphology, are more likely related to gulls, the distinctness being a result of adaptation for diving. Following recent research, a better arrangement may be as follows. Families in taxonomic order This is a list of the Charadria form families, presented in taxonomic order. Suborder Scolopici, snipe-like waders family Scolopicidae, snipe, sandpipers, phalaropes, and allies. Suborder Thinacori, aberrant Caradiformes family Rostratilidae, painted snipe family Jacanidae, Jucanas family Thinacoridae, seed snipe family Pedonomidae, plains wanderer. Suborder Lari, Gulls and Allies family Laridae, Gulls family Rhynchopidae, Skimmers family Sternidae, Terns family Alcidae, Puffins, Guillemots, Mura and Allies family Stercoraridae, Skewers family Glerulidae, Pratton Gulls and Courses family Pluvionidae, Egyptian Plover family Dromadidae, Crab Plover. Suborder Turnici, Button Quails Family Turnicidae, Button Quails. Suborder Shanidae, Thick Knees and Allies Family Burhonidae, Thick Knees Family Shanididae, Sheath Bills Family Pluvionellidae, Magellanic Plover. Suborder Charadriae, Plover like Waders Family Abidrinkidae, Ibispil Family Recurvorostrinidae, Avocets and Stilts Family Hematopodidae, Oyster Catchers Family Charadriae, Plovers and Lapwings. More conservatively, the thinner Cori could be included in the Scolopici and the Shanidae in the Charadriae, or the Glerialidae could be placed in a suborder of their own. The button quailies are of indeterminate basal position in the Lari Scolopici Sensulato group. The arrangement as presented here is a consensus of the recent studies. A rough consensus of current research on shorebird relationships is reproduced below, based on Nish. Evolution history, that the Charadria fermis are an ancient group is also borne out by the fossil record. Much of the Neornithes fossil record around the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event is made up of bits and pieces of birds which resemble this order. In many, this is probably due to convergent evolution brought about by semi-aquatic habits. Specimen V9901 is probably a basal charadria form somewhat reminiscent of a thick knee. However, more complete remains of undisputed charadria forms are known only from the mid-Paleogene onwards. Present-day orders emerged around the Eocene-Oligocene boundary, roughly 35 to 30 miles. 
basal or unresolved charadria forms are Morse ravis, Anomen nudum, Gelaniornis, Charadriad, Bautisemia, Glarialid, Turnipax, Turnicid, Elorius, Laris desnoisi, Larid, Stercorarid, Laris pristinus, Larid. Charadria for Ms. Gen. ASP. Indit. Charadria. Scolopacid. Charadria for Ms. Gen. ASP. Indit. Charadria. Scolopacid. Charadria for Ms. Gen. ASP. Indit. Larid. Charadria for Ms. Gen. ASP. Indit. Sajo Volgi Middle Miocene of Matrissa Lost Hungary. Totanus. Terulenesis. Scolopacid. Larid. Dot. The transitional shorebirds are a generally Mesozoic form taxon formerly believed to constitute the common ancestors of Charadria forms, waterfowl and flamingos. They are now assumed to be mostly basal taxa of the Charadria forms and or higher waterbirds, which probably were two distinct lineages 65 mire already, and few if any are still believed to be related to the well-distinct waterfowl tax formerly considered Gracilavids are Leonithidae, Charadria form, Grua form, Leonis, Gracilavidae, Gracilavis, Charadria form, Paleotringa, Charadria form, Telmatornis, Charadria form, Grua form, Scanionis, Phenocoptera form, Gilgaia, Presbaronithid, Dakotornis, Gracilavidae, Gen. ASP, Indit, Dot, other Wadarigal like birds in Sir T. Sedus, which may or may not be Charadria for Ms. are Ceramornis, Chemoopteryx, Palanthropus, Tauritix, Vulgavis, Euphtronus, Neornithes in Serta Sedus, Fluvia titivus. Evolution of parental care in Charadria form is, shorebirds pursue a larger diversity of parental care strategies than do most other avian orders. They therefore present an attractive set of examples to support the understanding of the evolution of parental care in avians generally. The ancestral avian most likely had a female parental care system. The shorebird ancestor specifically evolved from a biparental care system, yet the species within the clade Scolopisida evolved from a male parental care system. These transitions might have occurred for several reasons. Brooding density is correlated with male parental care. Male care systems in birds are shown to have a very low breeding density while female care systems in birds have a high breeding density. Dot. Certain rates of male and female mortality, male and female egg maturation rate, and egg death rate have been associated with particular systems as well. It has also been shown that sex role reversal is motivated by the male biased adult sex ratio. The reason for such diversity in shorebirds, compared to other birds, has yet to be understood.